<laughs> it's 20 degrees outside and I am leaving my apartment willingly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. And today we're heading out into the frigid New York City air to try mass uh, something. Mass Veggies Taqueria. Mass Veggies is a ghost kitchen inside Veggie Grill. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Veggie Grill at this point. They have like a bunch of chain restaurants, one in New York City, but most of them are in California. Um, like out of the blue, a few weeks ago, they were like, hey, we're opening up a taqueria, like a vegan taqueria, but out of the Veggie Grill kitchen. Oh, and it's delivery only. So that's cool. That's interesting. That's worth checking out. Unfortunately, I live outside of the delivery radius for mine, but I got you. I talked to them and they will be letting me pick up for the sake of this video. So for those of you in the Veggie Grill delivery area, you're welcome. This is for you. I'm heading out in a minute. I'm bundling up the best I can. And then we're going to go there, pick up the food, take some quick pictures before I completely destroy it on the trip back home. Delivery food never quite looks the same after it's finished its journey. So get there, take pictures, come home, eat food. That's the plan. This is for all of y'all who have watched way too many Hallmark movies and think snow in New York is a nice thing. Gross. Gross. Major slipping hazard. Gross. Gross. Hazard. Hazard. Ugh. Gross. Oh, and this is a photo of my car before I dig it out after a blizzard. So, you know, forgive me for becoming a snow grinch over the years. I didn't used to be this way. But enough being cranky, let's go eat some tacos. Hold up, do you guys remember me partnering with Deep Indian Kitchen, like their frozen food? I found the restaurant on accident, and they have impossible kofta. I need to come back here sometime. But we are here, time for taqueria. Okay, I'm here and I have two pieces of information for you. First, they're doing this thing where if you follow them on Instagram, they're picking random people to win free tacos. So, right there, follow them on Instagram if you want a chance to win free tacos. Number two, they are only open for delivery and you can find their menu on these four platforms, Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. All right, update. We can actually shoot here, but you shoot indoors. Technically, I think 25% capacity started today or yesterday or whatever and there's like, Nobody else here, so let me show you the food and we're gonna get started. First off, look at this beautiful spread. So colorful, so delicious looking. I'm gonna give you the quick rundown. So over here we have some carnitas nachos. They made it with jackfruit. There's like a spicy queso sauce on top with pickled onions, avocado, beans, corn, and pico de gallo, maybe more, I forgot. We have two tacos over here. The left is carne asada, they made that with cauliflower. The one on the right is Tejano taco. This one's made with Beyond Meat. This is the Poblano chicken bowl. It's made with crispy chicken, has some of the basics, some sour cream, some spicy sauce, pico de gallo, corn, beans, and lettuce underneath. And this I'm really excited for. I have never had a fish burrito or fish taco or fish anything Mexican. This is called the Baja Burrito and it's fish, jalapeno corn slaw, rice and beans. Let's get to eating. And I'll talk to you a little bit about the menu. It's super flexible. It feels so weird and yet kind of comforting, nostalgic to eat inside of a restaurant, but also weird. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about the menu. So basically all of the protein options, so like the cauliflower, not exactly protein, but you know what I mean. The cauliflower, Beyond Meat, crispy chicken, jackfruit, carnitas, and the fish are available in all the options. So like for example, you can get like a crispy chicken nachos or like a like Beyond Meat burrito. Like all of the proteins are interchangeable between the tacos, burrito, nachos, and bowl. Except for they don't do fish nachos. I've never like desired to eat fish nachos, so like that's not a problem for me. I'm gonna get started with the nachos though. Woo. They are so beautiful. I'm kind of glad I got to eat before going because now I could try things before they get soggy and cold. 
Mmm. I don't often enjoy jackfruit. Like, it always looks good, but sometimes the taste isn't there. But this stuff is shreddy and delicious. Wait. Wow. Pickled onion. I love pickled onion. Mmm. It's just a tiny a bit spicy. So I think at this point, I've already released my new rating video. I sure hope so. This little sucker gets an A. They did a great job. Next up, we're gonna try the Baja Burrito. That's the fish right there. I don't think I've ever had vegan fish. Hmm. It does taste kind of like fish fingers. Not a very strong fish flavor, but... Oh, wait. There is a fishy aftertaste. There is a fish. It's fishy. It's fish. It's fishy. It's been a long time since I've had fish. It has essence of fish. Fish flair. No, but that bite is hella seafoody though. Okay, that like kind of messes with my mind. That's pretty fishy. I'd give that an A minus. Solid. Good. Now we have the crispy chicken bowl. Spicy crispy chicken. Oh, I thought this was like on a bed of lettuce, but no. It's on a bed of rice and beans. I like it more now. That's pretty good. Tastes more healthy. Tastes exactly how you'd imagine it. It's like a crispy, spicy chicken chunks on top of rice and beans with a little bit of corn, veggies, lettuce, pepper, A minus. Now we have two tacos. One is cauliflower. That one is supposed to be, which flavor? Carne asada. I'm warning you, I'm not a cauliflower person. So this might not do it for me. Update. I still am not a cauliflower taco person. Cauliflower is a poor meat substitute. I'm sorry to say. Although I do know that like some people don't like to eat meat substitutes for the, so for those people, it might rock your world. But for me, I'm gonna give it a C. It just passed this test. Next up we have the Beyond Meat Taco. Mmm. -hmm. A minus. Pretty good. I can't help but want to go back to the nachos though. I have leg day later, so fueling up. I'm just gonna wrap this up really quick by trying the salsas. So we have a mild. They were not joking. That is very mild. And then we have the medium, which is salsa verde. That one's pretty yummy. And then we have the spicy. So I really like spicy. For me, this is not very spicy. It tastes good though. I'd give it a spice of like six out of 10. I think I like the flavor of this one the best. I gotta go home and digest before the gym. But wrapping things up, my favorites were the nachos and the, and the burrito. I never had like a Baja burrito, taco, whatever. It was so interesting. My brain keeps saying, you're eating fish, but then you're not. Clear winner is the nachos though. If I'm ever in the position to order from here, again, I told you they don't deliver to my apartment. If I was ever in the position to order, if you're in their delivery window, delivery radius, get the nachos. All right, here's the scoop. Nachos, definitely worth getting. The Beyond Meat taco was good. The fish burrito was good. Oh, oh I'm gonna post this, ah, oh, that sucks. This is probably going up after, but like I also got to try this like Valentine's Day limited edition cake. I also posted it on my story, so I really hope you saw it on my story and then you got it. It's gonna be available the 13th through the 22nd. So maybe I'll post this before then? No, I don't think so, dang it. The time lag kills me sometimes. I think it's really awesome that Veggie Grill is finding a way to diversify right now. And if you live in the area, then give it a try. Again, they're offering free tacos to like random people who follow their Instagram, so you can check that out. And that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all. I will talk to you next time. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. 
Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, and LT. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.